So, semi-final time in the Supermarket Premium Lager Taste Test Championship. Um, and let's have a little look at the table before we go any further. Because in the first semi-final, uh, the Singha ceremoniously beat the Warsteiner. Both beers, really nice beers, but the Singha was better. And if you remember, that's one where I got them completely the wrong way around. But there we go. But the better beer went through. Um, and now, it's the second half of the table. It's the Kronbacher against the Paulaner. Just a little note about that first half of the table. Um, that Singha, such a surprisingly good beer. It's an amazing beer. Um, I was drinking them after I'd done the taste test. I finished off the bottles, and it's just a better beer. It just is. It was just, the Singha is amazing. Um, it's got that aftertaste that comes a bit later on. It's a lovely, beautiful aftertaste. It's a really good beer. Um, and um, bizarre thing is, uh, my mate Bennett, uh, shout out to Bennett, um, said he, he called the singer right from the beginning right from that first uh, match up um said that's going to be the one to win um and he doesn't even drink beer just from what i was saying about it that's the one that he reckons is going to win and it's already through to the final so we'll see whether either of these two can can beat it in the final um one of these is getting through to the final we just got to find out which one so without further ado, um, let's get these poured into the red cups and get this taste test underway. Okay, so here we are. Um, now we've got two German beers, two different styles of German beer. Um, one in the basic beer review cup and one in the other cup. And um, at the moment, I'd say all we can see is the head, um, glass of water in the middle. I'm all ready to go for this now. So be interested to see if I've got an idea which is which, but I'm going to talk about which I prefer first. Um, nice and cold. Uh, yeah, let's go on this one first. So we'll try this one first. We're going to go for a nose. There's not much you can say about the appearance because they both look the same. That's got slightly larger bubbles. That one's got a creamier head. Let's have a smell. Okay, so that one's smelling, again, lemony, grassy. Smelling quite... Quite, smelling quite sharp. Let's put it like that. Hmm. Yeah, smells smells lovely. I, was, I, was, I would expect both of these to be amazing. Um, well, they both are amazing. So we're going to be really splitting hairs with this. But it's lemony, it's grassy, it's vibrant, it's fragrant. That smells like it's going to be... It smells a bit like Warsteiner, actually. But cleaner. Yeah, I remember with the one that I thought was the Singha, I said it had a little bit of dirtiness in the flavour. That should have proved to me that wasn't the Singha, because the Warsteiner has got a little bit of dirtiness in the flavour. And the Singha definitely hasn't. This smells like it wouldn't have any dirtiness in it, but it has got a lovely character to it in the smell. Um, by the way, um, for those of you who want to know which one's which, we might as well do that now. So here is which one is which. There you go. That was which one was which. Um, but the one I'm smelling at the moment, I'll smell it again now that people know what it is. But yeah, it's lemony, it's grassy, it's fragrant, it's a little bit floral, tiny bit of malt in the background, incredibly well balanced, smells really clean, love it. What about this one? There's a little bit less in here, in this one, but... So that one smells very different. Which it will be, because these are two different, let's say, two different styles of beer, as we know, two different, they're both German beers, two different styles of German beer. We've got a Pilsner and a Helles. Um, so they will be different flavour profiles. This one's smelling... Very different. It smells a little bit dirtier. It smells a bit more syrupy. A bit more bready. I'm preferring the smell of this one to this one. But now this one's smelling a bit dirtier as well. Of course, the, the cups might change the smell. Well, they definitely will not change the taste, so we're going to go for the taste in a minute. Okay, I'm going to start I'm going to start drinking this one first. So the basic beer reviews one is, is going down first. Uh, let's have see what it tastes like. Cheers. So that one is quite dry, um, with a lovely, 
biscuitiness on the aftertaste. It's an aftertaste that hits you straight away. So you've got dry bite, smooth finish. Love it. Not a huge amount of depth of flavour, but if you like your if you like your lagers on the dry bitter side, this has got a lovely dry bitter bite to it. It's really nice, and it's got a lovely smooth finish, which offsets it perfectly. Really good that. I'm really enjoying that. Let's try the other one. I'm gonna have a bit of a cleanse, and then have a go on this one. Mm. Similar. It is similar that. It's not as dry. It's smooth, nice and smooth. They're both really smooth. This has got a more a level, more level flavour profile, like I was talking about in the last thing. I think I said about that, didn't I? Well, oh, that might not have been that. Been, might have been in the abandoned uh, tankard taste test that I talked about. That. So again, with this, it depends how you like your beer. This one hits you at the beginning, leaves you leaves you a lovely aftertaste. I'm trying to decide which I prefer. At the moment, I'm not sure which one's which out of these. I, I'm starting to be able to see a bit of colour in it, so I'll have to try my hardest not to look inside. I'd say this one's got more taste than this one. This one's smoother. Um... It's really hard to decide between them. This is a much closer semi than the other one. Okay, the other one, um, the Singha was, it tasted cleaner, it tasted nicer. I think I said it had that sort of, you know, where it hits you at the beginning and then leaves you a lovely biscuit just at the end. The Warsteiner was a bit more of a level kind of profile. Uh, the Singha was better than the Warsteiner, it just was. These, I'm really struggling to, to choose which one I prefer. This one's got more flavour than this one, I'll be honest. But the thing is, if I do this, I might do something now. And I'll... Because um, I can't see what these are. So if I just kind of mix them up a bit, and just... Because I, I can't see the Basic Beer Reviews logo at the moment. So if I just mix these up a bit, I don't think I can see the basic beer review logo, anyway. Um, so I'm just mix these up a bit, so I have no idea which one's which. I'm going to try again now. That's weird. They are very similar, even though they're um, so now I'm getting this one being drier and sharper and more bitter than this one. I don't like my beers overly bitter. No, it is vibrant and clean though. It all, it all depends on your preference. These are both amazing beers. They really are. They are so good. Um, this one's quite bitter as well. I'm not getting. I mean, this one's very smooth. Mm, that's got a nice aftertaste.
Um, can you see the logos? There you go. That's the basic beer reviews one. So you can you know what they are now. You well if you if you knew what they were, you know what they are now. I'm gonna have to plump for. Uh, right, I'm another. I am leaning towards this one, just because it's got more flavour. It's a little bit more interesting. This one is really nice. See, that's coming out a bit dry now. Well, um, yeah, I'm going to say what I think they are. I might have them the wrong way around. Because they are both quite bitter. But this one is leaving me, or it was leaving me with a lovely aftertaste. But it's that time it didn't. How weird. Let's try again. Mm, I don't know though. Mm. I'm not sure if I prefer the bitterness on this one. Oh, there it is though. There. There's the aftertaste. Um, these are both amazing beers. These two and the singer, absolutely amazing. Both of these are better than the War Steiner. Right, here we go. Um, this one is the very similar, which I didn't think they would be, with one of them being a Hellas and the other one being a Pilsner. Uh, but this one here has got more of a punch than this one. And it's got a better finish. And even though they're both absolutely delicious lagers, this one is going through. So this one's going through. Um, it's just got a better punch. It's got a bigger punch. It's got a better aftertaste. Um, I think. <laughs> um, wow. Oh, that's got quite a nice aftertaste. I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> I honestly cannot choose between. I've got to think now. How on earth can I choose between these two beers? Because I'm about to run out. I'm going to have to plump for one. It's such a shame because it's like, I'm thinking of these two beers. I think I'm thinking of what they are. But I'm thinking, okay, so if this was the Pauliner and this was the Kronbacher, this goes through, I'm going to feel really bad for the Kronbacher because it just missed out. If this is the Kronbacher, this is the Pauliner and this one goes through, I'm going to feel really bad for the Pauliner because it just missed out. It's such a shame. I don't want to knock either of them out. But then again, I know one of them's got to be knocked out. I'm not 100% sure which one's which out of these, to be honest. I think this one's got a better flavour, but this one's got a better arrival and a better finish. I'm not sure about that that bitterness up front, whether it's a little bit too much for me. Um, but then I don't know. Um, Okay. Hmm. Right, I'm just going to do one more time, but I think I might change my mind. It is so close. My eyes flickered twice drinking that initially. Um, it's a personal preference of mine, but that is a little bit bitter. 
um, a little bit too bitter um, on the arrival. I don't think the finish is enough to make up for it. I don't think it fits. I don't think having such a bitter arrival and then that kind of weird biscuity finish on it is... I don't know. It's amazing. I mean, it's just what I want. It's like this is what I've said. I love this with a with a lager. Bitter arrival, smooth biscuity finish. It is amazing. It puts the Warsteiner to shame, whatever it is. But this is it's just tasty. It's just nice. It's tasty. It's easy to drink. It's not too harsh. It's you know that that bitterness. It's just just making my eyes flicker ever so slightly. So I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to about I'm, I'm out of beer anyway. Empty cups. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you like it, if you like a nice bitter beer, that's the one for you. I like them a little bit smoother. Um, it's a shame. Um, this one's amazing. I'm going to put this one through. Um, what I think they are, I think that's the Kronbacher just because it's more bitter and it's a Pilsner. I'm thinking that's the Pauliner. Um, the Pauliner's going through. I would have loved to see the Kronbacher go through because the Pauliner was my favourite at the beginning. I do like the Pauliner, but again, it's my own personal tastes. If I've got these the wrong way around, again, then that's just bizarre. Um, but um, there you go. And it just shows that, I don't know, it's you know, the best ones going through at the end of the day. Um, I'd love to see either of these beers go through. I don't care. I have no allegiances to the Pauliner at the end of the day. Um, let's find out what they were anyway, because um, I'm dying to know what these are. Um, anyway, I'm thinking that's the Pauliner. I think the Pauliner's going through. Um, I would have loved to see this one go through. <laughs> Well, let's have to see what they were, though, and find out. The results are in. Well, um, okay, so um, that was um, lovely. I really enjoyed that one. Them beers are amazing. Both beers are absolutely amazing. Congratulations to both of them. They are brilliant. They're down here somewhere. Um, I know which one's which now. It was hard. That's why I flip-flopped around that. So hard to decide. Um, so let's have a look. So first of all, let's talk about which way around they are. So Paul and I, and Kronbacher. So this was the Kronbacher and this was the Pauliner. So the good news is I knew which one was which, which was good. Um, I kind of thought that might have been the way around they were initially because one was, that was clearly more bitter than that one. Uh, Pilsners tend to be more bitter than um, than Hellas. Uh, but, you know, Pilsners, it's a nice bitterness. It's not an astringent bitterness. It's nothing nasty. Let's put the cups down and let's talk about these beers for a minute. So, yeah, I'm gutted. I'm gutted that this had to be knocked out. I would have loved this to get to the final, um, even though I kind of knew what they were. But I'm just trying to think, what is it? I'm swayed by my own personal tastes. And the other thing is this. Let's have another little taste of them. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's it's good. It's, def it's clearly the same bit as the one that was in the other cup. Let's have a go on the Kronbacher. I tried this Kronbacher. As soon as I found out what they were, I had another bit of this. And yeah, I mean, this is an amazing Pilsner. And this is an amazing Hellas. And that's the thing. And it's just two different styles of beer. Um, this one, it's got a low... It's a bit like the Warsteiner. And it's got a nice little biscuity aftertaste. Even though it's not kind of biscuity bready all the way through. Um, you know, it's got the sharp zingy arrival. It's an amazing beer. This could have easily gone through to the final. It's... Um, it's a shame. These two could have, in a different draw, these two could have been finalists against each other. Um, I'm not going to pre-thingy uh, anything, but the Sinkha, is it in the same league as these two? I don't know, really. It's, they're in different halves. Um, I think this this bottom half has been a stronger half than the top half, to be honest. The strongest beer, stronger beers in it. These are both amazing beers, I think. Um, Kronbacher was a firm favourite. The Pauliner was a firm favourite. Singha, bit of an underdog, but I don't know as much about the Singha. And the thing is, the Singha has been knocking out beers left, right, and centre. So who knows? I mean, that, yeah, that is cracking. It's absolutely amazing. Kronbacher Pils. This is one of the beers that I used to have um, back in Austria. Um, one of the beers that I fell in love with um, back in Austria when. You know, all you could get was um, rubbish lagers over here. Um, um, it's it's great. Oh wow, it's great. And this is also great. But the other thing I'm, I'll mention though, 
I have had better than bottles of Paulina than this. This is not the strongest bottle of Paulina. The, str the bottle of Paulina I had in the last round was better than this, I think. Unless it's just, you know, how, how my taste buds are feeling today. Um, I remember enjoying the bottle of Paulina last time more than this one. And I've already said the, uh, you know, the best bottles of Paulina are literally unbeatable in this competition. They're amazing. Oh, it is good that though. It is good that, but it's just not. It's not quite as good as it can be. But again, that's the thing with Paulina. It's like it's it's not. You know, it's, it, this is a lot stronger than the first bottle of Paulina I had against the Brewdog Lost Lager. Um, and I say they they do vary a bit. The Paulina ones they're not as consistent. Um, whether it's true of Cronbacher as well, I don't know really. Just I can't stop drinking these beers. They're so good. Oh, I would like to put this one through, though. It's it's amazing. It's just good. Mm. Um, there is a possibility that... I don't know. Um, I'm, I might be getting ahead of myself here, but if this ends up winning it, there is a possibility that I might put this up against the Singha, just because these two are so good. But at the end of the day, the Singha is amazing. If the Singha ends up winning and beating this one, which could well do in the final... Um, then that's gonna, it's gonna throw it on its head. Risk. This is really good. This is really interesting. Um, <laughs> I'm so tempted to reverse my decision, but I can't really do that. Mm. No, they're both really good in different ways. This beer is amazing. It's delicious. This beer is amazing. It's delicious. They are both absolutely stonking beers. And while I say this is not the best bottle of Paulina, it does come quite close, actually. It is, it is a, that's, that's one of the better bottles of Paulina. It's so much better than the one that was against the Brewdog Lost Lager. Um, yeah, I mean, they're just, they're just amazing. They're both amazing. Can't say any more about that. I've waffled on for ages about this. Um, I just, I'm, yeah, I'm just loving this taste test. I can't wait for the final. I'm really gutted for Cronbach because this is such an amazing beer. And as I say... I haven't put this up against the um, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> I haven't put this up against the um, Singha yet, um, and who knows? You know they've been they've been tested in isolation so far. I could put them side by side and find out that the Singha is a mile better than this one. I could put it. I could find out that this is a mile better than Singha. But I think what I am actually going to do to make it nice and fair, I was going to do a third place playoff. I don't think I'll do that now. To get it nice and fair, what I'm going to do is, whatever wins, the runner up is going to have a little face off against the semi finalist that got knocked out um, for a second place, really, because um, you know uh, if if this is better than the Singha. And this deserves to, deserves to come second. And I get to try, try more great beer. So, and we get to do it a little bit longer, the taste test, which I'm really enjoying. Hope you guys are enjoying it too. Um, uh, yeah, it's just brilliant. I'm loving doing this. I'm so glad to get over 100 subscribers. Sounds a bit weird because, you know, <laughs> what's 100? It's not much. Well, it's a lot to me. Um, so, again, thanks everybody for that. Um, I'm going to sign off because otherwise I'll never end this. So, um, yeah. Until next time. Have a good one.